Hello and welcome. I'm Chris Garlock with the American Go eJournal and it's a real treat. We've got with us the young North American pro Ryan Lee. Uh, Ryan, how you doing? Hi everyone. I I'm good. How are you, Chris? I'm just thrilled. I'm really thrilled. Uh, you are definitely the man of the hour. You're the, 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 the giant killer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The, uh, the North American Go community has been just a buzz uh, since your recent win over the uh, one of the top players, uh, Chen Yaoye. Did I get that right? <laughs> yep. Close enough. Yeah. Close enough. Close enough. So yeah, before we get into the uh, the game itself, I just wanted to just get a little uh, feeling for you of, of uh, what it was like, you know, there on the ground uh, for that match uh, going in. Were you? Were you worried? What was what was your plan going into that game? Oh, uh, to tell you for for a start, I had a blast. It was um, one of the best tournaments, of course, uh, since I won. I should, we, but... we should say it's it's uh, M Lily, uh, of course. <laughs> yep, so that's uh, the... yep, it's it's the third M Lily uh, tournament. Um, mm -hmm. It's not my first tournament, not my first international tournament, uh, which helped a lot because. Uh, when you when you go in there and and in in such a big crowd in in a in a big pool of of all really strong players, it's mm -hmm. it's really easy to um, psychologically get lost and and just you know these guys they they're in there every day in the in the training room they uh, they play uh, much uh, many more tournaments than I do um, so they're so they're really up in a head start. Uh, than me so it's it's a really big psychological thing that i had to overcome well, that's what i was wondering did you feel at all intimidated or did you kind of feel like uh you know a little bit of a dark horse there definitely intimidated and especially when i when i won so the first game uh it was more of a more close matched opponent um mm -hmm. and remind us who you like played that. in the first round uh chung hong hao Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tudan professional. He is uh, very young, um, but uh, very solid uh, mm -hmm. style. Um, so I, I, well, first of all, for a start, he was a two Dan professional, so more more closely ranked and and less intimidating. So I had mm -hmm. a, a much uh, much better psychology mentally uh, when I when I went in and played him. Right, but then you win that, and then you turn around and you draw a nine on professional. I mean, how did how did you, you know, <laughs> not just pass out on the spot? Well, I I, I knew I was going to play him uh, when I if if I won my first game, ah, and right. I knew that the second round was going to be against Chen Yaoya, mm -hmm. and also he was one of my favorite players uh, as a kid. Um, uh. Uh, not that not because he was old or anything but he was actually uh famous very young so he was he was out there uh playing the top professionals when he was around 11 or 12 mm -hmm. and and he was uh he had a very prominent style which was uh very solid in territory mm -hmm. and very strong end game so knowing knowing his game you know, what was your plan going in um i didn't really have a plan going in, <laughs> and, and uh, it's definitely helped helped me a lot with this. Um, so she was also there uh, in in the tournament. That would be Stephanie. Yeah. Yep, uh, we were the two North American players in the right. top sixty four. Um, so she had uh, a lot of more experience than I did, and she talked uh, to me and talked through me. Uh, with a lot of uh, with the psychological aspect, and I and I talk and I uh, mention this a lot because I really think it's uh, one of the I don't know maybe like it's definitely among the top list of the most important qualities mm -hmm. in uh, in such an intense tournament uh, mm -hmm. of, of of any sorts of esports sports or anything because when you're there and and you know this is the world top players and and when you're there it's it the, not pure skill um sure um go strength is important but mm -hmm. i think um 
having a strong mentality is going to give you the edge uh, in a tournament like this. So I want to get into the game, but just a, a quick follow up on that. Just if you could mention a thing or two that Stephanie talked to you about. You know, so what, when you say mentally tough or mental preparation, what kinds of things are, are were you were you guys talking through? Um, so when you're playing a game, um, in this the so the we each get two hours each. Mm -hmm. Sixty second Bioyomi. It's a it's quite a long game. Sure. Um, so. Especially with a strong opponent, it's it's really important um, to not focus on who you're playing, mm -hmm. rather what's on the board, and pretend. I guess when you're when when I when I'm playing, I was just more focused on the move rather than uh, winning or losing who my opponent was. So I was really just really in there. So I was so focused on the game. I wasn't looking at anything else. I was just drinking my water. I was just look, looking at the board, thinking to myself, what would be the best move? And so, that's really what you need, right? That's, that's what you mm -hmm. need to play the best uh, as, as you can. So I saw some photos of you, and, and, and it was, I, I think you, it looked like you were completely, you know, not aware of anything going on around you. Some, anybody <laughs> taking the picture, the other that, player, it was, the focus was pretty cool. I, as, since you mentioned the photo, I'd like to clarify on that because okay. on that, um, I think it was your short video that was posted mm -hmm. um, on Weibo, uh, on a uh, China media site. Um, mm -hmm. It it was uh, when I won my first game, and I looked so confounded, <laughs> like I had no clue what was going on. And that was actually because um, there was a teacher that came um, that he he uh. was talking to me through the game in in Chinese, so. Um, you, many of you might not understand, but he was he was talking me through the game, and 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 as you know, the game took three hundred and sixty four moves, or I think moves. it was definitely over three hundred and sixty moves, and that's more than the number of points on the on the go board. So after that many moves, and that game took about six hours or so. So after all of that. Um, the teacher, he, he came and he was talking to me about uh, this specific variation uh, <laughs> really quickly. And, and I was just trying to think back. Um, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, Did yeah, I, sure. Yeah, 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 exactly. So that was sort of my mentality then. Exciting stuff. Well, again, we're just thrilled to have you. And uh, let's jump into the game. Now, I understand uh, we chatted about this. Uh, the opening is fairly straightforward, and you really want to get into some of the complicated uh, middle game fighting. So I'm going to let you take it from here. Yeah, so I I started a pretty uh, textbook opening nowadays. Um, I, I played this a lot. And going into the game, I knew that uh, Chen Yaoye was more territory-oriented. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, instead of trying to play against that, I tried to play more influential and let him take territory. Um, you know, in a way that it might be uh, a little more better, a little bit more beneficial for me when I take mm -hmm. the territory, when I take the influence. <coughs> okay. um, so in here, he, he played really fast in the opening, and I was a um, little bit surprised when he played this, um, as we call now the uh, AlphaGo enclosure. Um, because usually uh, we, we, uh, it's common for white to approach from the inside uh, sure. because uh, to um, reduce black's development on the right. Mm -hmm. um, and and since I, I I also study a lot of of his games before, so I know um, he he likes to play this, and I, I expected this, but um, he didn't play this in uh, during the game. So he he actually uh, enclosed the corner. Mm. Um, so, um, so then, of course, I take the side. Um, I try to develop on the right side, and he and he approaches on this side. So this is all pretty straightforward. Um, just in the opening, we want to play fast. We want to take the the wide points, the big points. Yep. Um, so after approaching this side, I I defend the corner, and he invades. So this this uh, is also a very common invasion. Mm -hmm. Um, and the idea for this is that when white invades, uh, it it doesn't allow black to tanuki or play elsewhere. 
Mm -hmm. um, so it, it sort of bounds black and and as white uh, in this variation um, white is very fast and so since black has to defend this cut and uh, white can pl uh, get another big point on the board mm -hmm. and that's and that's very uh, bad it's it's not preferable for black because as black um, as we know the big Comey um, we want we usually want to be fast and and develop more Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And also, the the corner is not com completely killable. So that that was the uh, so that's sort of the what what white wants as white invades the three three point here. Um, and what's become popular and and again, this is what uh, AlphaGo did at first was mm -hmm. that for black, um, it's black cannot uh, answer locally. Um, so uh, I went through this uh, variation when black um, cuts white in a corner, but uh, there's also another variation if black wants to defend the territory sure. on the side, uh, black can also turn this way and, and white defends the corner. Uh, this is a quick variation and this is slightly better for white. Um, so uh, the, uh, I didn't choose this either. So this is better for white because we know from one of the oldest Josekis, I I believe is 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 this one, and I think this is one of the first Josekis that 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 we teach, right? This um, four four point um, white white gets gote and we each take one side. Um, right. So if we compare this to uh, the previous variation. It's slightly better for white because it seems that black, white got the corner in sort of uh, in, in, in this way. So, um, and, and we like to do this, uh, pros like to do this, um, because of, when we look at a variation like, like this, um, when, when we look at a variation like this, uh, we like to pretend it didn't happen this way to see who is better. Sure. So uh, the the what I just did was that I pretended that uh, white played here first, uh, and then black played here, and white played here. Right. And then a few other exchanges, <laughs> which is okay, acceptable for both players. So, having these exchanges is a little bit better for white. I don't know if I just confused you, but this is a a slightly different way of judging. Uh, wh who, which side is better uh, after a variation? Right, but it's not a huge difference, though, right? Right, right. It's uh, just slightly better. Right. Yeah. But AlphaGo likes to not answer locally. Um, well, that's what I was going to ask because uh, I've been doing a bunch of AlphaGo review games with Michael Redmond, and what's been just amazing is that AlphaGo just just tanukis all the time, especially in the opening. Uh, but I mean, yeah. throughout the game. But in the opening, yes. I mean, I I could be misremembering, but I I think maybe even here, because right. he wants to, because AlphaGo wants to play away, wants to take the big move. Right, and Chris, you're you're the expert on the AlphaGo games, right? Now, after oh, no, doing no, so I'm, many commentaries, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just hanging out with Michael. He's the one. I mean, <laughs> Michael has studied them so intensely, but yeah, but I do get the big points, and and I and I do know that that you know I've been, just been astounded at at how AlphaGo AlphaGo's ideas about Sente are quite amazing. Yeah. So yeah, did you, did. Did you have that in mind here when you were looking at these variations? Yes. How, yes. how quickly you can play away? I mean, you, you would really like to come out of this with Sente, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And and also, since I have the top right, I want I would like to develop on the top upper side sure. and, and the top left, which is completely empty. And locally, I could uh, just not answer and, and leave it for white. Sure. Um, so that's, that's what I did. Good. Um, so... Um, that's that's something that uh, AlphaGo taught us, I guess, I the like importance it. of of sente. And so this was uh, another thing that Chen Yaoye, um, with the high approach on the three four point, he 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 likes to play this, and um, not just him. A lot of pros like to play this um, uh, versus something like maybe this move, mm -hmm. uh, which which. Uh, 
stresses on the development on the upper side. Um, and I think both are okay, but um, I think uh, when I played this move, I, I knew that right off the bat he was going to play here, and, and, and he did play here uh, pretty quickly. Um, so that was interesting, and I and I would and uh, I would choose the upper side because it's um, more important for me to develop. So uh, with this attachment, um, we see this a lot. Um, this mm -hmm. this Joseki, sure. um, but of <laughs> course, for as black, I didn't want to develop in separate groups. I wanted to try to get a moyo. So that was sort of the, the strategy I had uh, when I when I came in. Um, so that so that led me to choose to play on this side, um, and so this is a uh, uh, this is called uh, I think many of you might be aware of this. This is called the Avalanche, mm -hmm. um, and in, and it is famous for one of the most uh, complicated variations as there are, and this is actually. Uh, Joseki, um, and it's definitely one of the most complicated Josekis. And what happened in, in the game was the very a simple variation of it, and that's black just taking the right side and yeah. white taking the corner. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yep. No, I think it must be one of the simple ones because actually I know this one. <laughs> 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 yes, I was going to show. Um, so uh -huh. I was. Yep. No, I'm just uh, wondering if you were looking. What, what was? Did, yeah. did, did you when you went in here and you, you were pretty sure how he was going to play? Uh, did you look at any other possible variations, or was just pretty much straight ahead? So what one another popular variation for black was to be he, to play here, and this would lead to the large avalanche. And yeah, <laughs> and one of the uh, I guess simple variations was this one. <laughs> this is and, not for uh, the faint of heart. <laughs> and I'm I'm not going to I could I could go on for for a long time going over these, but uh, I'm just going to show this. Um, this is a uh, very this is very common in pro games. Um, so you 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 will bound to see this, and you should know this if you want to play uh, the large avalanche sometime in the future. So this variation, white gets sente. Um, black just played the last move here at C19. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see, black captured four stones and white captured three stones. So it's pretty even. Uh, white gets a little more developed on, on the out, upper side, but the most important thing about choosing a Joseki, of course, is the situation on the board, right? And right. I highlighted this white's move, uh, this triangle move in the, in the lower left, and this move is sh really shining right now yep. um, because it's working really well with uh, this thick group uh, and developing on the left side. And on the other hand, um, as you can see, the black the black move in closing the top right corner is not really ideal for developing. And so this Joseki would be favorable for white. Yeah, that upper right one is a little bit low, right? Yeah. Yeah. So... Um, so uh, I ended up choosing this Joseki, and mm -hmm. uh, since I tanukied on the lower right, um, he he played a move here to uh, connect connect back and take the corner. Um, so uh, White takes the corner, and now I I'm really getting what I want, right? So in the beginning of the game, I said that I really wanted to develop and develop a moyo and play on the outside because I knew I knew he was really in for the territory um, so that I guess everything is going according to plan um, so we're going through the opening pretty quickly I just because I, I really wanted to go over this because um, after these quick moves so uh, these are big moves because um, these uh, two quick knights moves they are both uh, increasing the development on for black on the upper side and also reducing white mm. on the left side. So this is definitely um, the the vital point, if you will, right now in the game. Um, later in the yeah. game, actually, um, one of my friends told me that I I might maybe I should have played here um, to prevent white from making the knight's move in the game. Huh. Um, what do you think? So this this move it's 
it's faster, definitely. Um, but it's also a little weaker in the connection. So when white turns, um, black can't block because of this, this weakness. Sure. Uh, sure. White can tower out, and now black is in big trouble. Um, so black has to make the weaker connection the jump. Right, uh, which, right. Which will leave, obviously, a weakness here. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's, it's hard to say which one is better. I guess it's more or less preference. Um, so the benefit of this move being here is that if white plays somewhere else, then uh, when black jumps down, it's almost almost a sente move. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, uh, it, later, when black plays here, um, it's difficult for white to live. Very difficult. I was just trying to read that out. It looks really <laughs> kind of sketchy. Yeah, I think I, I like your move. I like the faster move, but it, it just leaves too much bad Aji behind. Yeah, yeah. So I I didn't really think too much about this move, but it but it was an interesting point that um, I didn't realize that I could have played here instead. Mm. So now um, b- developing this moil and bam, <laughs> I was I was really surprised by this move. Really. I mean, I would, yes. I, my feeling was funny when you played that second knight's move that you were ex- you would expect him to come in at that point. I did expect him to to play somewhere, but just vaguely in in the upper right, but sure. but definitely not really deep, and and especially on the third line, um, because uh, this this move would be a little bit counterintuitive for us because um, first of all, it's white. Usually, when you split a side on the third line, we like to have extension moves on both right. sides, right? And and a two space extension is is more or less comfortable. It's easier to make alive and right. you can see here that uh white doesn't have really comfortable extensions on either side so if if it gets attacked it's it's not easy uh for it to to make alive and it could be severely attacked by black um, which is sure what you did yeah and this is also again his style so the i what i i think what he is thinking here is that when he lives on the upper side, and if I can't attack him very well, then he can also invade the right side. And since that's all black has, then if white can invade both sides, then it would be really difficult for black to have a balance in territory. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's, that's sort so, of his, his plan. So do you feel like that white move is, a, is an overplay or just uh, it's playable? It's, uh, so my, my first instinct that, that it would be an overplay, but since Chen Yao Ye played it, I, <laughs> I, I would have to, I would have to think again. <laughs> um, so I guess the intuition for most, uh, players would be to sort of reduce, right? Because black has a lot of stones, um, on the upper, upper right. Um, so it, it would be, it would be, um, Sort of even if 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 white would just do reduce right and since black has stones, uh, black should have the benefit. So it would be common to, to yeah. play a shoulder hit here and. That, that's what I was thinking. That's a pretty obvious place to start. Yeah, yeah. So um, this would be this would do well at, at reducing. Um, so it would if if we. Play something like this. White, white has reduced the upper side a lot, and now um, I guess black would have to play something on the right side to to sort of enclose the right side. So this this would be a different game. But um, what what he did in the game, I guess, also it 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 has to allude to his style. Um, so I don't know. Uh, it it's hard to. It's definitely very difficult to handle. Um, like this, his style, um, but uh, Chao, yeah, he he's he's got the strength to back it up. Um, okay. So no questions asked there. Uh, so now um, I'm I'm trying to attack this stone and and develop on the right side. Um, so uh, these are I'm just trying to make white live. Um, mm-hmm. Since it's so empty, it's it's obviously really difficult to kill it. So, um, 
I'm just trying to press it down. And here is very interesting because uh, when black double honeys, actually white white plays this Atari. Hmm. And and the first instinct, of course, is, I mean, for an Atari, and the next move would be a Panuki in the center, right? Um, so the obvious move would to be extend. Um, but then white gets this, Tiger's Mouth. And it's pretty nice shape. Yeah, yeah, this is very important because I when with this double honey, the usual move would just to be extending here. Um, but this is very bad because first of all, um, this is leaving a vital point open for black. Mm -hmm. The slide. Um, yeah, yeah. So this when black plays here, it's uh, ouch. Uh -huh. That was so painful. Yeah, the sizzling, right? So um, it's 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 very bad shape and also. Importantly, the center stone cannot be killed by white either uh, because the ladder doesn't work. Right, right. Um, so this black would, white would be in big trouble here. Um, so this, I guess, is pretty much the only move. Um, but uh, so if black extends, white can make the tiger's mouth. Right. Um, but now when black tries to keep in closing, it's actually very interesting so now when white goes here black has to fix the cut here but that leaves this this push here later mm. uh, so now white can just um play a move to live locally um maybe here or here and since black has that weakness that i mentioned they the outside has actually not very strong mm. and such a and, and this this may be a subtle difference but it could really influence real what black can make on on the right side because that's sort of it's it's really all in for black because that's all black has so right now black really needs to make a big territory on the right side and that's that's not i mean that's uh, you can get some territory on the right but i'm not sure about a big one yeah, and it's 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 it, it just feels too empty to, to make sure, it all yeah. territory. Um, so uh, in the game, I I chose this. Yes, iteration. yes, that's that's I, I was I've been trying to read that out, and it just looks like it's got some some good stuff going on there. Let's see what happens. <laughs> right. So this first of all, it's it's very difficult and to choose a variation like this because it gives white. Uh, it, what you can see that white gets what white gets, and and yeah. now black has to get something of equal value, or else I mean this this center panuki it's going to for uh, first limit black's development, and also right. what what I what black played earlier uh, on this side these stones are all weak now because of this panuki here. Um, and a panuki right in the middle of that area there, <laughs> and and yeah. yeah, and is that upper side? That's pretty much uh, yeah. That's it's. Is there any is there any possibility for white there? <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that because uh, I uh, one one uh, the normal variation would be to play here for black, um, but there are. There's very bad agi on on the upper right. That's what um, I'm looking at. It's like two <laughs> slides and some yep. yeah. So first of all, there's this attachment. Um, so when if if black goes on the outside, then then it's it's going to be real difficult for for black to kill oh, white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and because it's almost connected already. Um, but if black were to defend uh, just the left side then white can attach in the corner and and it would be easy for white to make a live. So, um, and also the problem with this extension is that this move is sente. And the important thing about that is uh, now white can actually push and cut here. Urgh, don't like this. <laughs> so now it's, it's really a change. Um, now white is the thicker one. Uh, which is which is tragic for black because when yeah. in, in in a 
in a, in a mid game fight is really important to stay thick uh, right. because the, the weaker side has to make eyes and, and the thicker side generally benefits a lot um, from, from attacking. Yeah, this just looks too good for white, right? Yeah, yeah. So, um, <laughs> this Atari... Um, Ooh, that's, that's the move, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So, even though there's a very, very heavy co for black, black absolutely cannot let white have this co. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, <You think? laughs> yeah, yeah, so if you can see, this, this co is definitely more heavy, uh, heavier for, for black. Um, but the, the, good, the, the good side is that um, white doesn't have co-threats right now. Right. Um, so in the game, what he did was he, he went in, in a, and attached here to make co-threats. Um, and right now, I, I think the game is pretty close. Um, mm -hmm. People would say that the, in, the third line invasion he did earlier was, was a bit um, too... Is, is a bit of an overplay. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. But otherwise, it's still pretty pretty close right now. Um, so this was very hard is very hard to respond to, as you can imagine, um, oh, because no matter what, black can't let white have one, a single co threat. Right. So, right. So if we respond in the in the in the normal way, uh, white can just cross cut, and That's what happened is. So no matter what way black responds, white can start the co, and Atari here. It's a co threat generator, right? Right. I mean, it's just like a yeah. bazillion co threats. Yeah, and but white only needs one because black doesn't have any co threats. So now black is in big trouble because no matter what black gets, if white takes the this all of that, the not only white gets all of the territory. The group on the top left is also in danger, so th it's it's very difficult to respond here. And from having this co here, why can already benefit from the right side? So so hold on a sec before we go on. So you knew all this before you played, you know the the co. Yep. Yep. But that right. was so the you, only so, so. that was the only option I had. No, no, I mean, I saw that and I wanted to play it too, but I don't have the reading to back up what happens when this happens. So, you know, so I would have been sweating bullets, but I'm sure you weren't. I was, I was. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for admitting that. <laughs> um, but I knew, I, knew, I knew that I couldn't let him have the call. Right. And right. so I knew I had to respond calmly. And because uh, yeah, if, nice. if, I, if I were to defend the... If I let just let him have something on the right side, I could still have the top territory. Right. And the center, um, it's still. So if I'm imagining a, a move, a fix yeah. here, maybe maybe not not this move. Black would probably still have to respond. But if white can get a little bit on the right side, and and let's pretend white lives or something, and black gets this, uh, then it's still uh, pretty playable for black at least. Mm -hmm, playable mm -hmm. can might. Um, so black got some territory, white got some territory, and the, and it's still pretty open, right? And the middle is really unsettled. It's unclear whether mm. if black can make a big territory on the right side. Um, so, um, I just knew that I had to play something, uh, defensively here. Um, right. so, but to my surprise, he started the call very early. Um, hmm. And since I knew I couldn't respond to anything, I had to connect, and he connected here. Wow, interesting. So, um, <clears throat> and then I uh, made this, uh, this was sort of the end variation of, of the big fight on the upper side. Um, hmm. So, this is sort of the point where we can make a, so if, if you were a strong player, you would read up to here and make and and make a reading to see which side is better to see which, sure. uh, which side you would choose. Um, so at, at the time, I felt it, it's still difficult to play. Um, but uh, later, um, 
uh, the a lot of Chinese pros told me that they thought black was better here. Mm hmm. Feels uh, better, right? Yeah, because first of all, black got sente, of course, that's the big thing. Um, but uh, even though white got ter a lot of territory on the upper side, which was originally black's moyo. Um, right, right. So even though it might seem that white lived pretty small, maybe about 10 points or so, um, but but you have to remember that it was Black's Moyo originally. Um, right. So it, Black, White is pretty successful, um, but it's uh, Black got a really thick wall here, um, which is uh, pretty ideal for development. Um, so uh, I guess it's, um, people say it's a little bit better for Black, but only ever so slightly. Mm -hmm. Um, well, and, and black and black now has to make good on that. Yep. Yeah. So on so that white. Moyo. Yep. White has the cash, so it's I, and I and it's sort of what Chao Ye is good at. So I'm at this point. I was I was a little bit um, nervous um, to say the least because um, when when the game is a uh, it's a sort of it's going in over to him, right? Because it's, it's, the game has, has been, it's, it's already pretty settled right now. It's going to middle mm -hmm. and it's going to, at, uh, I guess, middle game, um, near, going towards the end game. And I knew that he was really good at end game. Right. Uh, so at this point, I knew it, it was sort of going in his direction. Um, uh, on the other hand, though, at the beginning, you know, you said you knew his style, you knew he liked the cash, and part of your strategy, if I re recall correctly, was you were gonna you were gonna go ahead and give him some cash. So this seems right. consistent with that strategy, right? But I guess it's not not in this way because he lived sort of. Uh, I I wanted to have a group that I could sort of attack and and ah. and and get at, but in this game. Not really, because he he had all settled groups, and in the center, it's sort of, it's because it's so light. It's it's really difficult to attack because black can kill capture any of these four stones, um, but it it would be very small to to capture any of them. Um, so I guess to uh, to answer your question, um, I I had a it was sort of mixed like I. Uh, I, I sort of got what I wanted, um, but not really. Um, there is a center, but it's it's difficult for Black to to choose um, a move to play. Um, so right now, Black can can uh, play a move like this. This would pretty much ensure most of the right side as Black territory. It's only um, territorial. It's not really even attacking the white, right? Yep, yep. So that would be only territorial. And now white could uh, potentially play a move here and and um, uh, develop on the left side, or just just playing uh, may maybe just a move here to develop. And it's diff It's hard for black to have enough territory. Yeah, um, I think because, black, yeah, black's behind now, right? Yeah, yeah. Because the thickness isn't really put to use. It's it's just making territory right now. Yeah, so that so the territorial mode is not gonna it's not gonna be good enough. Yeah. So. Yeah. So maybe what you want to do, I think. I mean, I think your explanation was was right on. I think that's what you you know you should just lay out that that's the problem for Black right now. I mean, if if Black just tries to grab a bunch of territory, that's not going to be good enough. But the question is, how do you? How do you handle white stones, right? And I guess you also want to keep your options open. You, ideally, you'd like to get into that left side before white thick, white cleans it up, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's that's why it's sort of um, I I did get what I wanted, um, but it's still it's still a difficult situation for black. Um, so that's I I played here uh, in the game. Which, <laughs> Sure, why not? Uh, which again is a very bold move, um, and uh, it's it's sort of a, a inherited from AlphaGo as well. So 
I was uh, wondering. I was going <laughs> to ask. <laughs> it's it's a it's a weakness with the this high enclosure because it's not it's more stressed on influence and less on territory. Yeah. Um. So the idea for this move is that when white uh, goes on the outside, um, black can play an attachment here. And sort of uh, in a Mi situation, when if black def if white defends the corner, black can sort of settle all on the on the side. Sure. Um, but this this move though, uh, it's only territorial, and when you played here, uh, it's. I mean, like I, I was, I was ver again. I was surprised that that he didn't even respond to, to my to my move. Um, but again, it, it sort of makes sense because when white uh, in defends the corner, when when white plays either one, black will get the other. Right. But if white doesn't play, uh, then white is uh, saving the Adria, potentially getting potentially getting both. So later, if white had a uh, had stones here, then white would would then white would choose the outside because uh, if black were to live in the corner, it would white make white thick, and white would naturally uh, develop the lower side into territory. So it sort of leaves the options. So now again, it's 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 one of those moves where he he wants he he wants me to defend, um, mm -hmm. but it's it's not now it's it's no longer big enough. Right. And the original intention was not to make territory, so uh, this jump was also necessary. Um, so let's just go over a couple more moves here. Uh, I um, this this attack was not entirely successful, um, but it wasn't it wasn't too bad because uh, even though White connected back, there was a little bit of Aji. Um, Later, there is an attachment here, uh, which which makes it com uncomfortable for white. Nice, nice sequence. Um, and also, black got the two moves in the center. Um, these two moves, which uh, will definitely help attacking the the these these stones that are sort of just there. Um, mm -hmm. So. The, it's it's really hard to grasp when when you're in a, a complicated situation like this because the four stones that are attached to the wall they're not they're not good to kill because when you kill them it's not very many points um, but also for white white doesn't want them to just die off because if it dies off the, um, so it's it's sort of like how black kills it if if black can make a kill like this and all of it is territory, then it would be too efficient. Mm. Um, so what White wants is to not let them totally die, but sort of keep them hanging there. So in the game, he made two quick exchanges, um, and then here. So this um, later, we think that it's not a very good move. Really? It looks it looks like it's threatening the cut, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, it's not. Uh, it it looks it looks pretty reasonable, right? Because right. So you said it, it's threatening this cut, which is very big. Because when uh, these these three stones, not only it's it's not just three stones. It's also uh, with territory attached to it. Sure. Uh, and also, it's it's developing on on the lower side. Yeah. Um, but the problem with this move is that it's it's not fast enough. So when uh, when black invades, uh, this move is no longer getting anything really. So if if black invades somewhere here, it's it's impossible for white to kill it. But if white were just to enclose this, white is spending two moves here just to enclose about ten points in territory. Right. Uh, and so it's. It's much more efficient for white to play a move somewhere here, yeah, okay. um, because uh, it's it's also developing the corner, and it, even if what black goes down, white can just play elsewhere and and uh, get somewhere big. Mm -hmm. um, so he might have played a few slack moves here in the center, and this this invasion is 
It might be a little strange. Um, uh, yeah, we're just waiting to see what you say because it's it's like when you showed the other variation, you had gone one one deeper. Mm -hmm. Right. This, so, but you decided, this, yeah. Yeah, this would be the normal one. So, though, I played there because first I wanted to defend this ladder. So now, now this this cut doesn't work. Um, if this this cut is more severe than than this cut, so I would be okay if if white were to cut three stones up like this. Um, but on the other hand, if if white cut it like this, then it would be much more severe. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to defend the ladder, and at the same time, it's difficult for white to make an extension on the right <coughs> side. So if white extends here, there is this weakness. And if white extends one higher than that, um, black can attach mm -hmm. and, and, and reduce this very effectively. So it could be a strange uh, choice, but it... No, that sort of makes sense it, now that you've explained that. that it, yeah, it's, it's, it, kind of, it kind of does both. Yeah, it works. And it's uh, also looking back towards that whole center area fight. Yeah. Um, but at this point, it's still... The game is actually a little bit better for white before white played this move. Um, because... Uh, the, the middle, it's white, um, if black can't defend the middle yet. So if black defends here, mm. um, white has the tesuji of, of making, uh, there's a sequence where white can uh, go inside the oh, center. Oh, nice. Uh, so it's, so that's why it's a little bit better for white, because even though um, black can still get a little bit of the center, most of it is, is already gone. And also, of course, the middle stones is sort of it's sort of not dead, uh, so it's still it's still a little bit better for white. Um, but the, these uh, the, this part of the middle game is is one of those classic ones where it's it's really messy. It so is, yeah. There, Good there's word. There's groups. There's groups where everywhere you can you can make territory everywhere. So it's. It's a little messy, so I'm 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 not going to go too much into detail these moves. Um, so when he when he cut here, it it is a it is a mistake. Um, and um, because after after this variation, black gets this turn, and this turn, uh, white has to go back and fix here. So it makes this this group very inefficient. And not only that, um, after a few more exchanges, um, Black can get this third line exchange in Sente. So if White plays elsewhere, uh, then there is, there's yeah, actually a nice. cut here. That's beautiful. Yeah, I was just reading that. That's a really nice move. Yeah, and because when White, if White tries to connect here, um, Black and cut like this. So nice. And this is this is very uh, good for black because it actually doesn't require these three stones to be connected for it to work. Right, right. That's so cool. Which is a little bit counterintuitive. Um, when white plays here, black can actually uh, honey here and connect here, and now it makes these two cuts me I. So it actually doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't need the uh, these three stones to be connected. Um, so which which actually saved a move because now um, black doesn't have to connect these uh, when uh, after a few exchanges. Black doesn't have to save these three stones anymore. Yeah. So you must have been feeling better at this point. It, I mean, it feels like it feels like the, the 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 flow of the game has changed in Black's favor. Yeah, I I felt a little bit better at this point, but um, it's still the left side is still very unsettled. Um, mm. So as you can see later, I played moves that are more more aggressive. Mm -hmm. um, and 
And so actually this exchange is also a little bit of a mistake. Um, as you can see later in the what happened in the game here. Um, when he jumped in, uh, White killed these two center stones. Um, but in exchange, uh, Black settled the territory on the right side and also got this move in the center. So all White, all, all White captured was just these two center stones. So it's it's uh, that's a yeah that's a great exchange. Yeah, it's it's a great exchange for Black. But after after making after making this exchange here in the middle, um, I think he misread it and he and he thought I had to I, I had to connect here. Um, ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So this was also a slight mistake. Um, so what happened here after this? Um, now at this point, I felt a little bit better after after mm -hmm. counting. Um, which was actually surprising because I never, now it's sort of that psychological thing kicking in that, that me thinking that I could potentially win this game. And that is actually a really bad thing because in, when you're playing and you're thinking about, uh, the result, it, it's, it, it's not right. really, you're not really thinking about what you should be playing. You're sort of right. thinking about what, what's going to happen instead. Yeah. Um, classic, so. classic mistake. <laughs> yeah, but so. but it, but it must have been a very exciting. I mean, you know, yeah, I I can certainly see permitting yourself just at least a moment of uh, you know, mm, this is <laughs> this is possible, and then back to work. <laughs> yep, yep. So uh, you you can see later that um, I made a mistake, but uh, this this is this is a very also a very strong move. Um, so as you can see here, I didn't I didn't think I was really ahead. I just. Um, I, st I, I was still playing um, the way I think uh, the game should be played. Um, so I, I'm still sort of playing aggressively, even though Black is um, ahead in territory now. Right. Wait, having, by, having, by, by what you mean when you say play the way it should be, is that you're, you're saying you're playing the board, not, oh, I'm ahead. Yeah, you're, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. No, I think yeah. that's absolutely correct. But it, as you say, I mean, that is easier said than done. You know, that can, I think it can be... Yeah. I've seen it happen so often. You just let up your guard for you know a move or two, and, and everything changes. Yeah, yeah, and 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 you'll see later um, because the the ending uh, part of this game is actually very dramatic. Um, we like that. <laughs> so after uh, after some some settlement and, and some exchanges, um, I spent um, right now. I was in Yomi. so I spent the rest of my main time. Think about this move, and and it, it was good. It it, it worked. Um, so it forced White to live in the corner, and and it reduced mm -hmm. it by by a lot. And after this move, Black's left side is live. So at this point was really the prime. Um, <laughs> wow, you can actually be so, you, can, you can kind of count it pretty well at this point, right? Yeah, yeah. So right now, Black is actually ahead by a, a fair bit. Mm -hmm. um, um, almost 15 points on the on the board. Um, but as is, you pointed out at the beginning, he's really good at end games. So yes, you're not, yes. You're not, you're not you're not comfortable, right? Yeah. So 15 points is is quite a big lead for for pros. Um, but uh, so one thing was actually not said though was the life and death situation on on the left side, which will I'm not go too much detail. Um, but the point is that after after White makes this connection. Um, Black has to go back and and fix the left side. Um, so this is, was the fix, first mistake that I made. Um, so at this point, I was thinking I'm playing. I was thinking about my opponent. I was playing Chen Yao Ye, <laughs> and and right now the game is almost. I mean, like there's only big end games now. It's it's pretty much all. Uh, it's 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 almost the end. We're, I'm nearing the end. I'm ahead. And my opponent is Shen Yao Ye. Those are those are the only three things that are in my mind at this point. Um, what a, what a wonderful <laughs> moment for you! Seriously, I mean, I just again, I just want to say for for everybody, you know, this is uh, you know, you, you turn pro. 
I remember the year you turned pro the year we were on the you East were there. Coast. Up, uh, yeah, yeah, it was freezing yeah. cold, remember? It was so <laughs> yeah. cold up there in, on the Cape. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yeah. It was and in you, Boston you, yeah. in 2015. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, I remember that your, your moves, and, and I'm really not surprised to see this because I remember your moves were just sharp, focused. <laughs> uh, really, really impressive stuff. So yes, yeah, so you, so you, you're in a good position at this point, but you got to finish it. Yeah, and that's definitely one of the hardest games to finish. Well, actually, I could probably say it here that it was the hardest game. Uh, it was the hardest game to finish in my in mm -hmm. my life. Um, at this point. And, and, and let me ask you, I mean, because it is, I watch a lot of tennis as a tennis player, and you'll see this, you see these young guys coming up, you know, 18, 19, 20, and they're playing the guys in their late 20s, or these days, there's guys in their 30s, and they have a moment like what you're looking at, where, you know, all of a sudden, it's like, oh, you know, I'm about to beat Roger Federer, you know, and, and, and but sometimes what happens yeah. is the, the moment overwhelms them. Yeah, you know, Roger's, yeah. Roger's been there for 15 years, and so I think that's a moment like that for you, where you can see that, but how do you actually finish that? So did you kind of, I mean, and I guess you couldn't stop and think about it because you're in overtime. Yeah, well, I, I'd had to think about it. And, and at this, <laughs> <laughs> I, and I'm glad that I did because, and, and that, that goes back to the, to the uh, pregame preparation that I did. It, it was definitely, it definitely helped me here. Like at this point I was still, um, so let me, let me just go over uh, yeah. two, three, three more moves. And now you and you will see. So I played this move, um, which I see, would look okay, I see what you're after. Yeah, which would look okay, but but then this this exchange is sente for white. Ah. So now so now you're wondering what what is black doing, right? So after this, uh, white can capture the stone. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's sort of like a freebie. Oops. And and after this, um, of course, black has to go back here and make right. this group live. So now at this point. This is the point where this this sort of happened. So before um, before this all of this, it's still unclear whether Black needs to fix, and maybe and Black can fix in a in a better, more efficient. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, as 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 I said, Black is ahead by probably about fifteen points. Um, but <clears throat> but after this, it's really hard to say. Uh, so, so that, so that, that psychological moment really kicked in, and I was at this point, I was thinking, I, I really can't let this happen. I'm, what, how, how, how many chances would I have at, at, in a game like this, at a, in a, at a stage like this? Um, so, I, I was really glad that I was able to to pull myself back together. So, you're saying you did actually kind of stop and 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 uh, give yourself a moment to refocus? Yeah, I. I, I used an overtime and just to just to um, sort of calm myself a bit and yeah. not think about the game for thirty seconds and that's, not think about winning winning nothing about winning for for yeah. thirty seconds. That's a that's a good use of an overtime. Good for you. <laughs> yeah. So as you can see here, um, uh, since I played this, um, since I had to go back and live the group. Uh, White uh, is able to. It, you can see his uh, really, really uh, magical end game. Um, wow! So after wow. after these exchanges, this this move is sente, and um, Black can't uh, connect here or or capture the stone, which would be, which would be better for points um, because of of the life and death situation. So yes, yes. Um, I needed I needed the. I needed to have the middle stone alive to to ensure that the group was alive. So, um, so after these a few forcing moves, um, and then he played here, um, which I was I was I was uh, this this move was actually sente. Um, I thought it wasn't, but after a few moments, I realized it was sente. So he still had, and then and then some more exchanges. So he had. Um, and then and then he cuts the uh, the center three stones. Right. So this point is is getting a little bit closer, but Black still has a pretty good lead. Um, but again, um, my end game is not is not great. So uh, it's um, White still, especially here. Um, this this connection is extremely big. Um, but uh, I, I took a, another game. 
uh, I took another endgame instead. Um, so there's there's some Aji there in the center. That's it's nice. Yeah. So this was a good big move by itself, but but it was not as big as as this connection. Mm. So yeah, after losing a point, a few points here and there. Um, I mean, at this point, I was in Bio Yomi. Uh, I, I, like, I was, I was so, uh, it was so intense that I couldn't really even count properly. That was going to be my question: was how how firm a grip did you have on the count at this point? Um, I was pretty sure that was head, but, but like, I would, I would, I would be sure in in any other situation. But not against this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Um, so after a few more uh, in-game back and forth, I I played this move and 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 he and he played here. And when he played here, I knew that I was ahead because if if he knew and because if he could if if he could win, then he would definitely play here sure. rather than fight this call. Right. Um. So this was worth sort of like a confidence boost. Um, but uh, later, it, it was really, it got, actually got really sweaty. Um, normally, we would just uh, uh, skip through the end game, but uh, I'd like to go through this because it's yeah, actually, yeah, 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 absolutely. This it, is it great. Was, it was, uh, I was like, this was very intense. So, after a few co threats, he he needs to hold this co while getting the big end games. Um, so that's why uh, we see these uh, co being fought back and forth. Um, so after after this exchange, right now, if he were to take this co, I could take this end game, and Black would still be ahead by about ten points. Uh, oh, ten points! Yep, including uh, the comi. Um, inc uh, so ten points on board. All right. Okay. So it's uh, so it's, it's a few points. Yep. Yeah. Um, but he he played here. Um. So he had to get all the game game, but at the same time, uh, he needs every point he can get. Yep, and and at the same time, hold the co. That's a big order. Yes, and I also and I, and then in the end, this this is a very important highlight because I I, I still made a mistake here, and it no, almost cost me. Oh, Ryan, me. no! <laughs> so this this move, it looks. It, it looks, looks it looks clever, yes. Yeah, it looks clever. It um the what I wanted uh, to do was avoid um I wanted to avoid this because this would be sente for him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you have to go back, right. So I wanted to to make to make the shape like this so that um I I would have an eye. Right, right, and I right. Have to go back in the territory. Um but but then he, he played here. And and this is this is sort of the the match. These are magical nineteen moves that, yeah. that, that I, I obviously didn't think about these moves when uh, in Bio Yomi. Um, this is so, just mess, this is just messing with you. Yeah, and and it actually doesn't work now. After that, I looked up after I look at this. Yeah, just looking at it, it should work, but it's kind of scary looking. <laughs> yeah. So, Especially in in, in, in Biyomi. Yeah, yeah, and and it was on the last one as well. So it was it was reading. Um, so you know, in 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 Biyomi, normally it would go five uh, after fifty seconds, it would read five seconds and then eight seconds. Yeah, yeah. Um, but when when you're on the last one, when when it hits fifty, it would start reading from one. So it starts uh, one to nine, and then it times out. So that, I think that's the in clock. Uh, reading. So at this point, it it was it was reading and 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 that it was so intense. Uh, <laughs> and, and I, I I again I made I made a mistake. So this this actually doesn't work because I can I can just defend like this and and nothing would happen really. Right 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 right. Um, but in the game, I chose a a safer variation, um, but it cost me some points. So. Here he he can extend in sente, and oh, to, that's cute. I had to I have to I have to capture to avoid um, this is him gonna getting cost the, you. getting points. So right now at this point, any two points really matters. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're only, I think you're only three ahead, right? Yeah, yeah. So I had to take, and then he takes another big end game. So this this move uh, is actually quite big. This is this was uh, if 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 black plays here is actually it could be sente because black can jump in the corner at b one. Um, but if we just count oh, this, right. if we just count this, um, this is actually four points. Um, aye, aye, aye. So after all of this exchange, uh, Black's lower side got reduced by four points. So does that put you down a point? Yes. Um, so now, oh, so I now you need to win the co. So now I need to get something from the co. Um, Are you a little bit that, annoyed? That I I was almost I was I was kind of I don't know it's. A, it's it's a really it's a difficult feeling to describe. <laughs> um, I mean, because you had it right there, right? Yes, I had it right there, and it was about to go away. Um, I knew I had to do something, and the game wasn't over yet. So it would. It's I, I just I just had to just clear my mind. Just don't think about anything. Just think about what you can do. Okay. And okay. and it did happen. So after. To, to in order to hold the co, he had to use co threats on the lower left. Um, so after a few more exchanges, um, he used up his last co threat. Um, so the co in the top left corner is eleven points. Um, so if if Black were to get another co threat, um, that's um, not this. Um, and any other co threat. Uh, any other white move is not a co-threat. So let's say, so this move is actually not a co-threat because it's less than 11 points. I just needed one point right now. Um, so it's it's really tight. Um, but I found I found the co-threat and it was here. Oh, wow. Boom, boom. So if we took this co, um, black and Atari and play here, um, and... White has to ensure this eye, which makes the corner a seki. Oh, that's huge. Yep. And white can't play here because now the make it makes the group not alive um, because of the shortage which, of liberties. Which, which is a nice way of saying it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this this was a co-threat. Um, and he at, at this point he was he was strapped, he was scratching his head because Right now, there were there were enough variations that we could all read in sixty seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, so he 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 played a move here, um, which l looks like a move, which looks like a Tsuji to get more co threats, but it actually doesn't really work. So it's sort of just to make the game more complicated. Um, so now I just. Yeah, uh, just absolutely. I mean, boom, done. you didn't think about that for more than five seconds, right? Well, I, I did because, so this, this is actually very tricky at this point because right now, if I were to respond, the, the, the best way was just to respond here. Sure. Um, because then he would still have to fix this part and since again, I, as as I said, I just needed one point from the co. Right, right, um, right. Him making this exchange is is losing two points. Um, so I'm talking about this cut exchange. So after making this exchange, White lost two points already in exchange for oh, the because extra he code. played inside. He played inside your territory, yep. right? Gotcha. So playing inside is one point, and then I go, I played on the outside, which is another right, point. Right, 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 right. Yep. So that would be enough. That's enough. Um, That's enough. Yep. Uh, but in the game again, I chose the the not so clear variation. Um, so I chose to live uh, in the seki. Um, after a few co exchanges, I chose to live here. But but at this point, it was really clear that um, luckily, whatever whichever variation that Black chose, um, Black would win. Mm. So it it would it all depended on that extra co threat here. Um, in the lower left, uh, which which was the big savior. Wow, that I mean, I'm, I'm exhausted, and I didn't even play the game. It's amazing. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the thing is, is is that is that even down to the very end, and I think you know, all of us, even you know, that's you know, lower ranked amateurs, 
you know, have been there where you've got this game and you know against a stronger player, and all of a sudden they sort of manufacture something uh, like like the stuff here in the uh, in the bottom, and you're like, oh my yeah. gosh, that's, where'd that come from? So that's yeah, a, that's yeah. really, uh, and I think, I mean, we were all impressed with the win just as the win. But I think seeing this game and seeing how, you know, you had to hand, he threw a lot of challenges your way. <laughs> yeah, and especially um, with, with the time pressure and seeing a move that I wasn't expecting, it's just so, I had to, I had to sort of rethink. And, and, I, and that 60 seconds, was, was sort, it was really the shortest time ever. <laughs> It's funny, 60 seconds can be really long sometimes, and sometimes yeah. it can be really short, right? It can just yeah. fly right by. Yeah. <clears throat> wow. So uh, before we wrap up, I guess, maybe my last question. So when when you finally, you know, pass this final test from uh, this player who you've been following for so many years, what was, what was that like? What were you feeling? It was disbelief. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I had to, like, slap myself. A few times to see if if I was if, not dreaming. If it was real, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it, I had to take a few days to to get over it. Um, uh, definitely one of those things that that you could only one could only dream that would happen. Right. Um, so yeah, I, I don't I don't I'm out of words really. I, I don't know what to say. I mean, it's yeah. it's it's been so long. It's been uh, almost. I think three weeks already, and 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 I still feel it's it's still spectacular that moment. Yeah, yeah. Well, and and again, what's spectacular here is you know you to go through that whole game. It was not an easy game. A lot of really complicated stuff. Um, and I think you know you really. I mean, for those of us that have been you know following your your career, it, it's it's not a surprise. I've always thought you were an incredibly sharp and calm and, and really collected player. But as you say, you know, when you go up against somebody like that who's been to the big show, you know, and played in those kind of games, that's an advantage that those guys have. That uh, you know that that you're just beginning to build up for yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I still feel like there is a strength difference. Like he, like not this 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 win. It's it's not it's not maybe showing an improvement in strength, but I I definitely see myself an improvement in 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 the psychological aspect of the game, which mental. Uh, yep yep Ment mental toughness. No, and I, I think that's a big. Uh, I would agree that that's a really big lesson from this because you really. You know, and mental toughness, not just in one point, but, you know, clearly throughout the game, you know, to be really mentally tough. So kudos, kudos to you for a really amazing game. Uh, last thing. So uh, you've got another round coming up, I think, at the end of August, right? The mm -hmm. next round. It's August 24th. So yeah. what uh, what are you what are you doing to get ready? Um, for, um, actually, I've um, I've actually been. Uh, going away for too long and I haven't really been working. Uh, I had mm -hmm. to spend so much time preparing for this, these two games, these two previous games. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I, I definitely have, I would definitely keep it up um, before the game. Uh, I guess there's not really much you could do to train. It's just really a matter of, um, Doing the best when you're when you're on the spot and what you could make most of it. Well, again, congratulations! It's a, a terrific game, and uh, you know you've definitely got a lot of fans out there that are going to be following you when you when you're there and, and they're giving you a lot of support. So, congratulations, <sighs> and uh, <clears throat> we look forward to seeing uh, seeing what happens in the next round. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right. Thanks for spending the time with us. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and uh, see you around.